for install what are the different steps for installing the Hadoop cluster on Ubuntu or the Linux system and the Hadoop version is 2.6.0 okay so we have already seen how to install the Hadoop 1.2 versions now in Hadoop 2 point versions we have certain changes what are the changes we have to see okay so the first step very first step what we have to do we have to open the terminal in our virtual machine and we have to update our apt so that we have already done it so how to update so for how to first get the update so for that we have the command sudo space apt dash get space update this command will update your repository whatever the repository you have and here it will ask you the password when, when, once you type this command it will ask you the password so you, here you have to provide the password for your system okay then next command that java should be installed on your system and uh, better you know how to install the java you can install the java from the two ways first you can either download it somewhere and you can copy and paste in your home directory of the linux system then you can make use of that java or there is a separate command for downloading from the terminal that is a w get then a space and the link of the java where the java is present so you have to give the link url of the oracle one that is the for oracle java minimum version should be 1.6 so it is better uh, way to download uh, the first one not directly from the terminal because sometimes you will get problem then again you have to download it so after that what you have to do here you need to download the Hadoop 2.6 versions that is the current stable versions one of the current stable versions so you have to download the Hadoop Hadoop 2.6.0 versions it will be uh, of 186 MB size. You have to download this file Hadoop 2.6.0.tar.gz. That is a tarball. You have to download it. It will be for the Linux. Now, what you have to do? So, before going to that one, here first, once you downloaded your uh, Java and Hadoop in your system, now put that into the home directory. It will be better for you. And then you have to go to the cell directory. How to go to the cell directory? So, for going to the cell directory, we have the command that is nano.bashrc after that you will here go to the cell directory now here you may be able to see it a lot many exports I have written because I have already configured the Hadoop 2.6 version into my system so we will see each and every one what is the requirement and why we have done this one so for that purpose this is the first one export hadoop underscore home equal to slash home and the name of the user of your pc so in my case it is vikram and then you have to provide the hadoop 2.6.0 version so this is the way you have done in the hadoop 1. version also so this is the most common uh, one if you are familiar with the hadoop 1. version then we have the second one here export what we are setting hadoop conf hadoop underscore conf underscore dir this is the directory we are going to create and the value for this one will be the in the home directory where your hadoop is present in the hadoop 2.6.1 version we have the etc directory inside that etc directory we have one command that is the hadoop so we have to set the configuration directory up to etc hadoop then third configuration we have to set the hadoop mapred home where that mapred is home is present so that mapred home is present directly inside the hadoop 2.6.0 version so you you have to specify the value of this one that is the dollar home slash hadoop 2.6.0 now next one is the hadoop common home same value as is the mapred then next one is the hadoop hdfs home the value for this one is also same so because all are present at the same location now the next and the new topic you have uh, in the case of the Hadoop 2.0 version is the yarn that is the 
known as the MapReduce version 2. We call that MapReduce version 2 in the case of Hadoop 2 as the yarn. So you have to set the values for the yarn underscore home. And what is the value for this yarn underscore home? So that is the dollar home, that is the home directory inside that Hadoop 2.6.0. This is the various configurations which is required for running the Hadoop 2. Point versions. Now, after that, what is the next one requirement you have? So, you have to set the Java home and give the value at the location where your Java is presented. After that, you have to provide the path for the Java and path for this Hadoop. Leave the pig and hive cell because it is not applicable right now. So, after setting these all configurations file, First is the Hadoop home, second is Hadoop conf, dot, conf dir, third one Hadoop map red home, Hadoop common home, Hadoop SDFS home and yarn home. Apart from that, you have to set the Java path along with home and one Hadoop path also. So after that, you have to come out of this one. Now you have set the configurations files for the Hadoop 2.6 versions. These are the various and the basic requirement for setting the Hadoop 2 point versions. So in here you have seen that one configuration that is the Hadoop conf dir. What is this one? So this one is for the Hadoop configuration file. What will be the next uh, configuration you will do uh, in the next step. So that configuration will be saved here. Then we have the to the, give the Java, Java path and the Hadoop path because without that it will not work. So now after that you come out of this one and what you have to do you have to now move inside the CD move inside the Hadoop directory where is your Hadoop present so in the home directory so you can directly type the command CD Hadoop 2. Point. what is the name of the Hadoop folder so this is the name of the so if you want you can directly search by typing the command ls so here you will get Hadoop 2.6 version. So in my case, this is the Hadoop 2.6. I have to move inside that one. How to move inside that one? So for that we have the command Hadoop CD Hadoop uh, and the name of the Hadoop. Now we are inside the Hadoop 2.6.0. Whatever the configuration you want to do, you have to do here. So first configuration, what you have to do? You have to check what are the different directory present here. So for that we have the command ls command. You may be able to see it that is the bin, etc and the, some other files are also present. So we will see one by one according to our need. Now what we have to do? We have to move inside the etc directory because for the configuration we have set inside the etc up to Hadoop. Now we will move inside the Hadoop 2.610 etc Hadoop directory. Now we are into the Hadoop directory. What we have to do? Here I have to set the Hadoop environment variable. How to set the environment variable? For setting the environment variable, we have to make one, uh, make use of one editor. It may be the nano or the sudo. So right now I am considering the nano. So for that command, we have the Hadoop. That is the nano space Hadoop. And what we have to do? We have to set the environment variable. So for that, we have the command nano space hadoop dash env dot sh as in the case of the earlier also and what we have to do here here you will get the java implementation to be used that will be the commented one now what we have to do you have to uncomment this export java home and you have to provide here the location view where your java is present in your system so in my case it is present in the slash home slash vikram then JDK version that is the 1.7.0 and update 75. After this, you have to simply come out of this. Now what you have to do? You have to set the some configurations files that is the core site, SDFS site. So how to set that con core site? So for that also we have the command nano. Then what you have to set? You have to set the core site dot XML. Just when you make enter in the Hadoop directory, etc Hadoop you will you have to set the core site dot XML when you type the command nano core site dot XML you will get this folder and here the configuration will be blank so you have to give the configuration property 
so what will be the first property your first property will be the name and value so the name what is the name so name is the fs dot default dot name and what is the value value is the sdfs colon double backslash localhost and 9000 that is the port number so this is the same as what we have done inside the Hadoop 1 point version so this is the same now what you have to do we have to make two directory for the name node and for the data node so how to make that two directory we can't make directory here so we, that we have to make inside in the home directory how to make that directory for that we have the command just simply leave that leave that uh, terminal as it is and may, uh, open new terminal and here simply type the command make dir make directory then one dash p and where you want to make the directory you want to make the directory into the home and what will be the name of the Hadoop di uh, directory so that I am giving here the Hadoop 2 underscore data this is the name of the directory inside the home in this I will make SDFS now this SDFS is for the name node so this is the command for making the directory of the name node in the this location here in my case it is already done so I will not make it but uh, once you are going to configure you have to make this directory then in the same location you have to make one data node directory also so only you have to change the name node as the data node and then you can make the directory that is with the name node and data node now what you have to do you simply return to your <coughs> previous terminal where you was so here you was in the this terminal now which folder you have to set so here you have to set the SDFS configuration file so how to set that for that we have the command nano space HDFS site dot XML what will be the various configuration required here so simply scroll down here and you will get the configuration file as the blank now what will be the different configuration required here you have to set the three properties okay so first property which is similar to the Hadoop one point version that is the DFS dot replication this is the replication factor earlier also we have set the one now also we will set the property and that is the repli uh, DFS dot replication and the value as one now what is the next two property we have to save make so for next two property is dealing with the name node and data node so for that we have to give the property name as DFS dot name node dot name dot DIR this is the property name and what is the value for this one so the value for this one is the file colon backslash home Vikram means you have to specify the location where you have made the folder name node just now we have in the new terminal we have the made the folder this is the name node and it was present in this location so you have to give the value uh, that is the you have to specify the location of the name node folder second property we have third property we have to set the data node directory and for that we have to set the value that we have made one directory inside just now in the new terminal so this is the only three property you have to set inside the SDFS site dot XML now what what will be the next here in the case of the Hadoop 2 point versions we have one new concept that is known as the yarn so for that you have to set the some properties inside the yarn site dot XML for that we have the command like previous one nano space yarn site dot XML here we have to provide the configuration for the yarn what will be the different configuration here again you will get one this one configuration file inside that you have to set the two properties what is these two properties so we will see the first property this first property the yarn dot node manager dot AUX services that is the auxiliary services for this one what will be the value the value will be map reduce underscore shuffle and this is the value and second property here is the yarn dot node manager dot 
actually services dot map red map reduce dot shuffle dot class means which class will be responsible for shuffling the values so for that we have one uh, apache class that is the org dot apache dot hadoop dot map red inside that map red we have the class and the name of the class is the shuffle handler so this is the class present in this location org dot apache dot hadoop dot map red make sure that while typing the name of this property the shuffle handler the name of this shuffle with start with the capital s and the handler is should also start with this capital h so you have to make sure of this one then these are the two property you have to set inside the yarn now come out of this one because there is no more configuration required here after that we have to set the map rate configuration that is for the map reduce so for that we will type the nano map red site dot xml okay so if you are doing it for the first time when you make this enter nano map red site dot xml and make enter you will get you will not get this xml configuration file this file will be completely blank if you are using for the first time so what you have to do and this configuration file that is the syntax for the xml is required here so from where you will get this one so simply when you get this file as a blank you just come out of this one and type here command the ls you will get here two folder first one is the map rate site dot xml dot template and second one you will get the map rate simply the map rate site dot xml one is with the xml and one is with the xml dot template so just go through that template one so simply copy this one how to move inside this folder so you simply copy this one after that type the command cd and give the name where you want to go i want to go inside this one okay but actual thing is that i don't want to go here i want to simply copy the whatever the files it is present in this location i have to copy this one so how to copy the, so before copying we will see what is the value present inside this file simply type the command nano space and name of the template site here it will show you this configuration file with the blank means what is the required earlier we have seen the xml template with the configuration that is not present in the map red site dot xml it is present in the map red site dot xml dot template so i have to copy this one how to copy this one so for copying this one we have in the command in the unix that is the cp command cp then one space and what you have to copy you have to copy the file two files the first file is the map red site dot xml dot template now where you have to copy you have to co copy in the second file what is the name of the second file the name of the second file is the simply map red site dot xml without template after this command your file will be when you make enter your template will be copied to this map red site dot xml okay so that xml template will be now copied to that one what you have to do you have to go inside that one how to move inside that one so simply type the command nano one space map rate site dot xml now this file will be with blank configuration will be present here because you have copied it from the map rate site dot xml dot template now you will have this blank file blank configuration file here only one single property you have to save what is the name of that property so the property name is the map reduce dot framework dot name this is the name of the property and what is the value of this property the value of this property is the yarn here why because here the framework which we are going to use is the yarn yarn one now we'll simply clear this one after setting all the properties means how we have said set you will see it now we have completed all the configuration files we don't have to do anything what we have to do we have to simply 
come out of this one and what you will do now I have to format the name node how to format the name node in the case of Hadoop 2.6.0 version for that purpose we have to simply move inside the Hadoop 2.6.0 directory okay here you will now type the command ls here you will get uh, two folders with a bin first is the name as the bin and second in the last second last you will get the s bin here whatever you have to do you have to do with this s bin not with the bin because in the case of the hadoop 1.0 version we were dealing with the bin and now in the case of hadoop 2.60 we will do with s bin so what we have to do we have to simply move inside the s bin by the command cd one space s bin enter now you are inside the hadoop s bin what you have to do you have to format the name node for formatting the name node we have the command that is known as hadoop name node space dash format so this is the command of the formatting the name node in the case of hadoop 2.0 and also in the case of the 2.1 version also so after this uh, your formatting will be a start and here you will get a lot many sentences or the lines uh, on your screen after this command because in case of Hadoop 2.6 we have a lot many files in my case I have already formatted so I will not format that and you understand that how to format so for formatting this is the command simply make enter after this one you will get the format if you have already installed the Hadoop 1.2 version 1.2.1 version then there is no required to make your uh, open cell server and client at the passwordless because in it is by default it will be passwordless suppose if you are using for the first time then what you have to do you have to generate the key gen that is the key value so how to generate that one for that we have the command ssh dot key gen then key gen dash t rsa dash capital p capital p and there should be no space between this double quote so this is the command to generate the key value pair and this command you have to type in the home directory only there is no need to type this command into the Hadoop 2.6 point bin so it simply come out of this one go to the home directory and type this command and if you have already uh, worked with the Hadoop 2.1 version 1.2 version then there is no need to go for these steps okay and if you are new then you have to type this command and after that you will get the key as a image form here it will ask you to enter the file location something some uh, other value will be asked so don't give any value simply type the enter make enter it will uh, at the last you will get the key value pair generated now if you have generated the key value pair and if you are the first time user what you have to do you have to see what is the different key and then you have to make the public key as the authorized key how to make the public key as the authorized key for that we have the command that is cat then dollar home dot sh then id this id underscore rsa dot pub will be your public key and you have to provide this command to authorized key how to provide this command to authorized key so for that we have the command that is dollar home slash dot s s h that is the cell make sure that all will be in the small only there is no then you have to make this key as the what you have to make this key as the authorized key so this by typing this command your public key this public key will be your authorized key so once at the time when your name node will contact to the data node or the job tracker will contact to the task tracker something like that then there will be it will not ask the password if you don't make it is passwordless then at that time it will ask you the password now you have done with the configuration with the Hadoop 2.0 versions and you have make it the passwordless also 
now what we have to do what we have to do we have to check how many daemon services are working here right now so for that we have the command jps type the jps command and you will get here you will get 3373 three, something like one value will be there and then jps means there is no hadoop daemons are working right now because we have not started the hadoop daemon services now we have to start the hadoop daemon services how to start that daemon services so make sure that you are inside the hadoop 2.6.0 slash sbin folder okay now here only you have to start the hadoop daemon services so how to start that services for that we have the command the command is dot slash hadoop and what what the first daemon you have to start you have to start the first daemon by this command dot slash hadoop dash daemons daemon dash sh now i will start the first daemon that is the data node simply type this command uh, here you may be able to see this message that starting data node now my data node is starting so see here it's return me the prompt terminal now i will check whether my data node is started or not so for that again i will type the command jps here it should present here that is the data node and the jps just wait for it see here here earlier the jps was working the value may be may be changes each and every time there is no for uh, need to worry about this value here jps is now working and data node is also working now again i will start one more daemon and the name of the daemon is the name node because we have started the data node now i'll start with the name node simply type the command dot slash hadoop dash daemon dot sh start name node enter by this command your name node daemon will start here you may be able to get a starting name node just wait and let it be finish yeah it's showing that process has complete now again i will type the command jps and we'll see whether my name node is started or not if it is started it will be listed here wait for this one yeah you may be able to see here that is the jps is already there data node is previously present now name node is also present here so we have started the two daemon services that is the name node and data node what we have the in the case of the hadoop 2 point versions we have the some extra daemons that is not present in the hadoop 1 point version so what is that daemons and where that is present so remaining daemons are present in the yarn file in, not in the hadoop it is present inside the yarn so how to start that one so similar to the hadoop one we have the command that is a dot slash yarn then daemon dot sh and what we have what is the name of this daemon so the name of this name of this so this daemon is the name of this daemon is the resource manager simply type and you will get one message that is starting resource manager this daemon is present in the yarn not in the hadoop i'll check whether my resource manager daemon is started or not see here it is listed that resource manager now what we have to do we have again one more daemon that is present inside the yarn only and the name of that daemon is the node manager simply type the command you will get one message that is starting node manager then what we have to do again i will check whether it is started or not by the command jps so simply type the command jps make enter 
it should show that your node manager is also listed here see here it's showing node manager started data node jps name node resource manager now after that we have the most important one in the case of the hadoop 2.6.0 version that is the one extra daemon that is the name is name as the history server and where it is present where that is present that is present inside the mr underscore job history daemon dot sh now i'll start that one and what is the name of that one so the name is history server simply type the command it will show you that starting history server now i will check whether all the daemons of the hadoop 2 point version is started or not by the command jps it will list all the daemons see here what are the different daemons just wait for all demons should it uh, be shown here so we have waited for the demons to complete its job now i'll see whether it's showing all the demons working correctly or not we are still waiting for that one see here first demon it's shown the name node manager second is the data node third is the name node first one is the node manager data node name node job history server resource manager and jps these are the only five demons except this jps these are the top five demons which is required for running the hadoop two point versions so this is the only configuration part we have to do in the case of the hadoop 2.6 versions after that it will be shown here now i'll just open on browser on browser i will check the hadoop localhost how it look likes so for that you have to open one browser simply open your mozilla firefox in the virtual machine only just see here the browser is now started what we have to do we have to check the localhost settings how we will check so how we have checked in the case of the hadoop 1.1.2 1 versions how we have checked by the command localhost 50070 just first try that command whether it is showing or not it is showing that is working now what we will do i will check for the next command that is the local host colon 50030 yes this is the command we have to see here how it look like unable to locate that one okay there might be certain problem here here so here i have not formatted my no, uh, name node so it uh, i am not able to get that one once you format your and if you are the first time user you will get it okay so this is the possible way and this is the various steps for installing the hadoop 2. Point version into the ubuntu or the linux operating systems now all your configuration and the installation has done successfully thank you